your initial thoughts about what's going on in this merge? Jesus, um, so much. Like, it's it's very clear where alliances lie, and it's not at all anything to do with tribe, like whatsoever. Um, it seems as though some people were playing how good at these they were. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, Josh has won three of them, I found out. And, uh, Aaron's won one before as well. Uh, David's been in a bunch of these. Kevin's played a bunch of these. And I'm like, bro, I'm a first-timer. <laughs> How the hell did I get here with all these, like, veterans, you know? So that's uh, kind of led to there being this this target on the the like the back of Josh and it's like right now everyone is just trying to play around the idol because we have no clue where this thing is honestly I feel like David or Chantel are playing like they have it um because it's like a term of in a poker term like when you have the nuts as in a hand where you literally like can't lose that's how they seem to be playing this game because they're like not really interacting with people very much like David and Chantel I've had not even a whole conversation with, you know, I've tried, like y'all have seen, I've tried to reach out multiple times and they get back to me like eight to 12 hours later, you know? Um, so the way that they're playing, they're like, clearly they're think they're sitting pretty, that they have the majority and have no idea the moves going on around them. But I think uh, once we have this little group call with my old, my previous tribe of Carvel, uh, we can kind of put some fear into David and hopefully flush this idol out, you know? How has the pace of the game changed from when you were in a smaller tribe to now being in a tribe of 11? Uh, like, whole, things happen so fast. Like, I, what was it, yesterday, it was very, very clear, like, okay, David or Chantel is going to be the vote. I wake up this morning, um get on a call with Brett and he's like, okay, Josh is now the vote. I'm like, what the f and that sucks. Cause like, I actually like Josh. Um, I know he's a good player and everything, but me and the dude have like a lot of things in common. Like we were able to have like, a, all of our conversations just go so long, like organically, they just do. We're not even talking game. We're just shooting the shit and having a real connection. Like the guy he's smart. He, uh, is in like into a lot of the same things we play the same character in world of warcraft like uh, i got a lot in common with the guy but i gotta vote with the majority you know what i'm saying does it surprise you the amount of overlap of people that play you know i guess orgs and people that also play like um what would you categorize the genre of game you play like strategic card games yeah i didn't know it was uh i didn't know it was this big i would say like Josh is like huge into poker. Um, we had like a long call. We had, we've read some of the same like poker books. Like that's another thing that I'm like pretty into. Uh, Brian, I've played him legit at like nationals, I think 2014 in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, what do you call it? Mike was a card game player. He's prepping for like Pokemon Nats. Like there, I didn't know there would be this many freaking people that like, did all sorts of gaming and i'm like wow it fit right in who would have thought <laughs> other than yourself being voted out obviously what would be worst case scenario to happen at the pit tonight just gets voted out what about Sorry. best case scenario best case scenario we blindside josh properly because where i would much rather have an enemy where i know where their head is at and i know where they're voting than have someone kind of at arm's reach where I cannot tell what they're thinking. And I feel like people kind of might think the same thing of me. Like, I, I'm i always, and I can say this, in the game where I say I'm going to vote to the people I trust, I always vote there. Like, 100%. Even when we flipped on that. Like, aside from telling the, the person that I'm voting, obviously. Like, always honest with my votes. That's how I play the game. That's how you can show that I'm trustworthy and loyal. I don't know where Josh's head at, especially during a merge, man. Like, he said he's loyal to me. He said he trusts me, but he's also saying that to, like, everybody else. And that's giving me heavy, like, Mac vibes of what he was doing. And then, boom, got hit with a blind side. So, I don't know. Shit, it could be my name going out there tonight. Like, you, you just really don't know until the vote. Like, it's crazy.
Who would you say are your top people that you trust? Uh, obviously, Jess, number one. Um, that's for obvious reasons. And then I'm saying, like, Jess, Lucy, Brian are my my top three just, uh, like, people that I, I can trust. Um, Brian, just because Yu-Gi-Oh! I can read a Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Like, it's been times I've been sitting in a game, and I know this is, like, disrespectful and you're not supposed to do it. I legitimately called out all six cards in my opponent's hand before he played a single card. I could just tell just by the way his eyes were. So Brian, I can tell if he was being dishonest. So that's someone I'd love to keep close to me. And Lucy has yet to give me a reason to distrust her. So, and she's been with me from day one. Is that the four that you would want to ride, including yourself? Is that the four that you would want to ride to the end with? Yeah, that would be my ideal, like, top four situation. Now, I know... I feel like once we get down to at oh, least start to call. Um, once they get down to like six, that's when Jess and I, because somehow freaking dumbass Facebook, I I wasn't even thinking. I think I was like out drunk or something one night. I added Lucy and she saw Facebook photos of me and Jess together because there's a lot of them. Obviously, we dated like two years. Um, and now that that alliance is like out there and they just know that I'm never voting for her, she's never voting for me. Like once we get down to six people, we got to start watching our backs. But until then, like, I think we ride with this alliance that we've built until we eliminate like the David, the Chantel, the Aaron and the Josh. Like once that's gone, then we can start worrying. Do you think the knowledge of you and Jess having a connection is a help or a hindrance? Right now, I think it is a help um, just because that allowed Lucy and Brian to know that I was making it out of the uh, out of the five tribe or the five person tribe before the merge. It let them know that and it let them know to get close to David because they knew David was going to come for Jess and they knew from there that I'm loyal to her. So like that. I think that helped us out big time with letting them make that preemptive play, which is which is really huge, actually, and really smart by them. But, um, yeah, I think in the long run, yeah, that's definitely going to, like, fuck us. All right, perfect. You have any final thoughts before I let you go? Dude, I, I just need this vote to be over with. There's too much going on right now. <laughs> we got to keep the plan simple. Stick to the plan. No, No wrenches. Everybody get their story straight and and run it. Like, stick to the script, stupid. Like, that's what we got to do. All right. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate it.